Okay guys, I just wanted to get into Beatport Pro really quick here with regards to syncing it up with your tractor. Um, I've just uh, downloaded it and had a quick play, but uh, expect a more fuller article uh, in a short while. But just for now, I wanted to cover how to sync it with Tractor. So I've uh, opened up Beatport Pro, logged in using your Beatport password, and um, I've imported my iTunes playlist. And uh, I just want to show you how to get this iTunes playlist out into Tractor. Now, when I heard about this, I was not expecting it to work quite as well as it is working. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, what I'll show you how to do is how to write um, mood tags and export that to an iTunes file and then sync that with Tractor. Now, I wasn't expecting it to continually sync. I was expecting that you might need to export every time from Beatport Pro, but it seems to sync flawlessly. So uh, let me show you how it works. Up in the uh, Beatport Pro section in Preferences, there is actually an export uh, section. And in the export section, uh, you this will be blank here, but uh, you can choose the location you want to export it to. So you can nominate a place or an area on your hard drive where you want to see that uh, library export to. You can write the following tags in the comment field. So you can hit the plus button and our whole list drops down. Um, you're not going to be able to see the whole list here on the video, but um, and you can pick which field you want to export. Now I've selected mood because I've added a few mood tags uh, to the track. So let me show you how to do that. So let's say for instance, I want to add a mood tag to this one. And we just uh, head on over to the right hand side here, click mood, and then we can select a mood from in here. Um, you can also write your own tags and call it whatever you want. So long if it's not in this list, we can try nasty and just put a comma after it. That is how you can write your own tags. Then in the bottom right, there is a done button just again off the screen here. So hit done. And then you can see up here, we've got some mood tags written in. Let's go ahead and do the export. And uh, once you've set this up once, it'll continually just be here. No problem. So yeah, you can click the location you want to put it to, give it a different name, whatever. So I called it Beatport iTunes Music Library. Click Save. Uh, as I've already made it, I'm just going to replace it with the one I've got. But you don't need to do that every time you write tags, it automatically updates. So let's switch over into Tractor. Now we've exported that for the first time and we go into our Tractor Preferences, File Management, and then in the iTunes Music Library, we just want to navigate to the one we just saved. So our Beatport iTunes Music Library, open that, and then we can close down this. So in the iTunes Library, if we want to just click Refresh, and then uh, our iTunes libraries come up. Now you can see I've got them all written into the comment field here. And uh, we can just, that's the one I've just written there. So it updates, no problem, that's great. Now let's say I want to add, so you can see in this comment field there's no tags on this George Pearson track. So let's just head back into Beatport Pro. Let's search for the George Pearson track here. There it is. Let's click on that. And then that one comes up here too. So let's write, uh, let's have a listen to that, see what it is. Okay, so it's kind of, it's kind of deep. There's a bit of a vocal in there. So I'm just going to throw a mood tag in here. Let's, uh, we can use um, the deep here. And there's a vocal one just off screen there. And uh, it's kind of kind of chugging as well, and uh, click done. So now I've added the mood tags to that. We'll switch back to Tractor, and I'm just gonna let's just move off this track because uh, I find that once you've moved off it, it kind of writes the tags, um, and then we'll go back into Tractor and click refresh, and then we'll scroll down and see if we can find that one. Here it is. So it's 
automatically updated. I haven't had to export it again or anything. So it looks like Beatport Pro might be an excellent choice for uh, tagging your music. It seems a lot quicker way than writing your own comments in here. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. I just wanted to let you guys know how to sync it up with Traktor. <laughs>